in today's organizational context you know employees do not uh, and you know while this is a saying that you know people work for managers and they don't work for organizations i think in today's context it is a very strong and a valid statement so to me as an individual employee what matters the most is a relationship with the supervisor is uh, you know the methodology of working and is the culture of the small you know team in which i operate it's only that which will make sure that you know i have an interesting uh, stint in the organization i have the requisite kind of motivation in the organization so to that impact uh, or to that effect i mean it really uh, impacts positively and negatively uh, in terms of how a supervisor of a team or an often individual behaves with an individual on the cultural front you know whether it's a open culture or whether it's a non open culture whether it's a transparent or a non transparent culture it doesn't matter uh, you know how the organization views it is predominantly the real feeling of a culture to an employee comes from the supervisor it is he who is the gateway to experiencing culture for an employee and if that gateway is working fine you will have a great uh, culture if the gateway is not working fine you will definitely not have a uh, interesting culture so i think that's that's pretty uh, you know uh, important in that aspect in in, in terms of uh, a personal experience um, you know how a supervisor's uh, behavior impacts the culture and transparency and fairness uh, uh, in culture you know transparency and fairness obviously form apart from being the basic frameworks of any society or any organization in any relationship also they form a basic uh, ingredient they form the basic foundation stones and to build a relationship with the supervisor and then build it on to make a organizational culture you need to have a very strong foundation of transparency and fairness so i won't call them ingredients of fairness i won't call them in sorry ingredients of culture or anything i think it's a very basic foundation for any organization a transparent system and a fair system a transparent methodology of working and a fairness in its working uh you know in the context of employees uh, in, if you we were to just limit it and uh, i think these are the foundations uh, that are required so on the personal experience uh, i mean uh, uh, you know so so i'll probably share uh, not how it has happened to me but how i have built a relationship with my subordinates uh, because i think that will be appropriate so i have a relation i have a culture uh, you know in my team which obviously dovetails to the organizational culture is uh, that the relation the uh, you know the organize the team is a high performance team the team feels that you know rewards are greater if performance is greater uh, the team feels that uh, there is no hierarchy in the organization the biggest hierarchy in the organization that exists is on the uh, knowledge side so somebody who has knowledge is by default supposed to be leader of a group somebody who doesn't have knowledge or has lesser knowledge on a subject is somebody who is not supposed to be leader of the group irrespective of the hierarchy designation you hold for that project that's a small kind of a culture we have now this culture gives every employee in that team enough wings to flutter and enough wings to try out new things to experiment new things and to challenge themselves on whatever they feel is an appropriate thing to do uh, and and it has yielded results because if you if you build a culture uh, which is aligning to the generation that exists today where they do not want to be bogged down by systems they do not want to be bogged down by hierarchies by just by virtue of having years of experience you become senior and they want to experiment and try out new things uh, in a you know given in time frame so it it really uh, boils down so you have high motivated team you have lower uh, attrition and you actually uh, get to do uh, a lot of innovative uh, things without having to spend so much time individually because your team is energized enough to do it themselves so i think it's been a fairly successful model so far